We read 1 Corinthians 15 from verse 50. She read, she had a powerful time reading that voice. I wish I had your voice. She read it so powerfully. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look at verse 58. On a day like this, what is the Father saying? Verse 58. I want to read it from the King James Version, then I'll read it from two other translations. It said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be a steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor. Now, if you read that from the Message Bible, from the message Bible very quickly. It, it says it the same way but in a different way. Message Bible, MSG. First Corinthians 15, 58. Let me quickly read it. If you have it put there, that's the NLT. Let's read that before I read the message. Very, very powerful. Very powerful. It says, so my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically, enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. I was glad years ago when Dr. Henry told me I'm going to full time pastoral work. And this is like yesterday. Do you know he has cheated all his friends? Because some of his age mates are gone. Some are dead. There's something the church do not know. There is no greater work on earth. Not even the job that President Biden is doing as the President of America. The greatest nation. I want to say something, but I want you not to misunderstand it. If you are not doing the work of God, you are the biggest fool. Only fools will not be interested in working for a government that never fails. Only fools will look at the work of God carelessly. Only fools will pray with the work of God. Only fools deceived by life will think that pastors are useless. There is no government greater than the government of Christ. There is no government that will last. You look at Clinton tomorrow, they say ex-president. You look at Donald Trump, ex-president. And the name goes on. There's nothing you are doing today that will be remembered in eternity. Nothing. Nothing. There is only one work that matters. Paul who have lived all kinds of lives. Paul was the first terrorist known by hell and death. Paul was the most number one notorious terrorist. But when he got saved, he poured his life into the work of the fathers. He wrote to the church in Corinth. And you know the church in Corinth was a very corrupt church. The church in Corinth was a very carnal church. The church in Corinth was a very confused church. The church in Corinth was a very, very, very crazy church. It was the day that this revelation was written after talking about death. Because once you are dead, you can no longer do the work of God. There are those who think you do the work of God when there's nothing else to do. Look at how handsome Dr. Henry looks. Does he look like an ugly man? <laughs> this man can do any work. He can be a senator, he can be... No, look at his face properly. Does he look ugly to you? <laughs> because there are people who think you do the work of God when you are almost done. To yeah. 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 locate a man like this, who have seen life, touch things, you know when you see promotion, we will talk about that something. Paul said in verse 58, Marika Haraso Fadina. Hear me, young people and women. I'm so glad with the way he puts it. He said, because women will say, well, we're marginalized. And he explained that. Can we read it again? Put it on the screen. 
1 Corinthians 15 58, on this special occasion, if there is anything you need to put your life into, anything you need to seal your destiny into, is the work of the Father. This is the only work that you are not finding. Both from heaven, by hell, or by man. Is that so, my dear brothers and sisters? Be strong and immovable. Always walk. Always walk enthusiastically. Why? For the Lord. For the Lord. The Lord means Adonai. Adonai means the owner. Who owns your body? I've always asked people, where did you buy your legs from? Do you have an answer for me? Where did you buy your nose from? How did you get this hand? The man who gave you what you have, the man who designed you in his image, gave you everything free of charge. The eyes you have is free. Your ears are free. Nobody can say, I bought my intestines from Italy. The other thing you have in your life was given free from the Father. Not to do his work is an abomination. Not to be interested in promoting his kingdom is a disaster. To leave the church and you think it's a religious organization is a work. It's a walk, and I can remember first time the oil was called to make him a pastor. Remember the green belt. Today we are here as a district superintendent. Because any regret you're going to have on the last day is that you did not do the work of your father the way you ought to do it. Who are the people the devil is destroying faster today? Those who neglect the work of the father. Is eating them, is eating them, and permit my words when cancer eat anybody, diabetes eat anybody. The people the devil is eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner are those who have refused to give attention to the Father's work. I want to show you something he guaranteed all of us. Jesus said in the book of John 14. When I was Paul said, always walk enthusiastically. Why? Because if you walk for FIFA, it will soon be over. If you walk for IMF, it will soon be over. If you walk as a nurse, as a doctor, they will soon retire you. The only one walk that will never end is called the work of the Lord. The work of the Father. It's not for babies. Not for all men, it's not it's for all his children. In John chapter 14, I quote the owner of the church. Let's quote him. John 14. Where did Paul get his instruction from that he was given the church in common, but it's given to us in Baltimore South today? Let's read John 14, verse 12. From the lips of the master, there is nothing in this Bible that says to you. That you are wasting your life when you take the work of God seriously. In John chapter 14, I'm reading verse 12 for the sake of time. Listen to Jesus. The one who went to the cross and the one that is coming back quickly and shortly. Let's read it together in the Bible. John 14 verse 12. I have it on the screen, but let's read it together. I tell you, he never lies. Why is he saying, I tell you the truth? I will explain that. Why did Jesus use that word? I tell you the truth. Are you lying? Because today you talk like that, people say, well, maybe he wants to lie to us. That's why he said, I tell you the truth. I will explain why. Anyone, anyone from Jamaica, anyone from Mexico, anyone who believes in me will do the same works. To heaven on the last day, this is the first scripture they will read to you when you have entered heaven. Did you do the works I did? Or did you do the work of gospel? Or did you do the work of scatter? Or did you do the work of sowing seed of discord? He said, Anyone, he didn't say the bishop, if you are not bishop, if you are a pop, no matter your hierarchy, anyone, including the smallest baby, he 
here today. Jesus said, how do we know those who believe in him? He said they will do the works. The works I have done. And even greater works. That's why from pastor to distance to pretender and to the higher office he will come to as long as Christ died. Listen, he said, even greater works. Because I am going to be with the Father. The Father, not a Father. Hold your neighbor here by sitting next to you and say, Why are you like this? Hold your neighbor and say, Hold somebody, hold somebody. Why are you like this? Why are you praying in the Lord of God? Why are you talking in the Lord of God? Because on the last day, it's the those who believe. To the people are ashamed to be leaders. That's why I congratulate those of you who are a part of the new council. The works that I do shall be do. Now, in this church, if you are not doing anything, you are just a member. We cry for you. I want to tell you a story. We cry for you. You just come on Sunday and sit down and go back. The reason for this promotion. Why is the Lord lifting him? Why is the Lord protecting him? Why is the Lord making sure he remains strong for his age? He's still looking 19. Not for his age, he's still looking 19. I want to act the movie quickly before I take you. Please come. Please come. I want you to watch this. I will not use anybody. Put me your chair, my God. Because I know you will not be angry with me. That's yeah. my son. He will not be angry. That's my assistant. Now, this chair represents forces. But it will represent you shortly. He, please stand here. Just for this one minute, he is God the Father. Face this chair. And he, don't face the chair. Stand right here. Yeah, like that. And this man, for one minute, is a good man. It's not for today, for the next one minute, he represents the devil. <laughs> and listen, 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 listen. Somebody quoted Moses a few while ago, and that is Dr. Henry, the new district superintendent. When Moses died, the Bible exposed him. Moses. I want you to say, this property is mine. This property is mine. No, you're not saying like an angry person. <laughs> this property is mine. I want you to say he belongs to me and heaven and hell knows it. He belongs to me and heaven and hell knows it. Because Moses, they were fighting for him. The Bible said when he died, they don't get to clean him. That this is my member. The angel said, no! Moses is a prophet. He spoke to the most faithful faith. It was the terror. Do you know how long study your Bible? Moses! When you die, who will come for you? With the work that Moses did, the devil still claimed you are my property. It was a battle. The Bible said it was a battle. Even the angel Michael could not know what to say. Please, it is a, this is my property. This is my property. This is my property. This is my property. Angels and devils were watching. Moses was confused. When you die, who will come for you? The Lord of God, but now, the Bible said, you know clearly, the guy died with the property of Satan. He died with anger. You know there are people in that church who are angry with the pastor, angry with the sister, angry with the leader. If you die and they say you went to heaven, they lie. You know how people die? They say he died in the Lord. Are you sure? He died with malice. He died causing God's work to go down. Moses did die of fornication. Moses did die of adultery. Moses died. You know his story. The battle continues and the angel was afraid because when Satan comes for you after your death, do you know that you can walk with Bill Gates and he will not be there to fight for you when you leave this world? Yes. You are not permitted to serve anybody greater than your maker. 
Yes. For the last time, for me not to never forget. Say, he died with my property in him. He died with my property in him. He's still my son. He's still my son. But to the angel said, you know this war? The Lord himself rebuke. Moses was in prison until Jesus died and went to hell to set him free from anger. This building is not the church, it's a meeting place. You and I are the church. Yes. This new council they are putting together, this new district, my goodness, this male, this district superintendent. Because in the spirit, life is real. In the spirit is where the real life is. Yes. To spend 40 years in the church and you are not knowing for the work of the Father. It's about to be. We all the Moses did the devil have the audacity to say he's following me to his home and apartment and that kind of thing. It was war. Ask your neighbor, say, what are you doing in this church? <laughs> you see, there are two kinds of people in the world. Two kinds of people in the church. Those doing the work of the devil and those doing the work of Jesus. I want to show you the works of Jesus. Seven major things. If you don't see them in the life of anybody. Because as the Lord has given us the privilege, the opportunity to have a new district superintendent. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Because in the church, there are people working for the devil. And you have people. Jesus made it clear. He didn't say those who speak in tongues. He didn't say those who pray. Like that, he said a few minutes ago, those who pray nine hours. Those who pray ten hours. He didn't say, he said, how you will know the one that believes in me is that they do the same works I'm doing. What were the works of Jesus? What is your work in this church? Now you are a new person. What is that? Because the man said in John 14, 12, we are just going. Whoever, what did Moses do that was the work of the devil that the devil had the audacity and the authority to come and claim him? Because he died of anger. He died of anger. If the devil don't care how many years you go to church, as long as you don't do the work of the family. That's why this is very important. Because with the new superintendent, we are not going to do business as usual. With the new council, we are not going to look at Baltimore as usual. The person and the prayer and the Bible that was handed over to him and to you is for one purpose. Elevation for one purpose. For the work of the Father. And what is that work? His last minute before he left it, Satan planted anger. One of Judas is carrying greed. There are people inside the house of God eating God's money. They will not pay their time. They will not give their offer. Even when we did Thanksgiving in a short while ago, we see a house of people were squeezing money to put inside. Is that how you can come? They say people will go to parties and want to announce their donation. I'm giving 10,000 on behalf of me and my wife. We give 10,000 dollars. But in the church, looking for $10 to put in Thanksgiving heaven. How do you thank somebody who is still keeping your heart with all your sins? Is still causing your heart to beat with all your money? The things you do that nobody knows. How do you thank him with $10? How? I want you to quickly see this. Thank you. Never forget this. Who is fighting over your life? Because who you work for determines who come for you. I say, who you work for? Sister, who are you working for? Bro, 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 bro. There are bros in church that don't work no more. They say, I just come after service, I just get up. I don't have time to waste. I am so busy. Very busy. I have over 200. Businesses that is on my head. Why do I have time for church? I just come because of my wife. <laughs> Today is your day. I'm going to go 
calling you to the altar as the Holy Spirit led me. But God will make a vow that this new district superintendent will have not any trouble. But God will give him a hundred percent because he's walking, he's walking the walk of the Father. We want to show that this new district is one of the hardest, fastest walking districts. But what do you do? What other districts are not doing? Because of the new anointing. But the question is this, go repent now, go repent now. Please take your seat for one minute to come back and help me around and look in the chair there. Because there are those who are going to. The first question is this, because Paul said that we should not play with the work of the Lord. Can you read it with me one more time before I show you? If the devil meets you tomorrow or somebody, a witch, a wizard meets you and says, What is the work of Jesus? Why should you get to have a church if Jesus died for me? No, he did not die for you. Nothing is free in this world. Nothing is free. The man said, let's read it. And this is what Paul took it for. Make it sure that Corinthian church knows how serious this matter is. He said, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. Why do you have to say this? When they are about to sweat the meat, they say, Lift your hand to promise that what you are about to say is the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> not talking about what <laughs> you see in America. America is not in the Bible. I tell you the truth. Anyone, 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 ah, then I'm in trouble. Anyone, not those who want to seminary, not those who want to Bible school, no, no, it's an Anyone who believes in me will do. That means you are implicated even before you begin to believe. We do. Not we talk. Not we wish. That's why I celebrate those of you on the keyboard every Sunday because without you we can't worship. They are working. Those there are helping those who are watching from afar on the media. They are working to be in his house and not do any work. Is to hang himself. Then he took it to another level. He said, not just what I do. I'm not going to go to greater works because when we do that, because Dr. Henry only told me, so you know by your time, then by your He said, Bishop, Bishop, <laughs> politely, he said, you know, remember your time, he just, I said, I know, don't worry about that. I know for you, it's over. I need my body to read. You understand? What is the worst? Number one, please write it down. Number one, the works of Jesus is the works of fighting for your life. Any member that is not joining us to fight because he fought from the womb of the mother. That's why any church member that doesn't use his money to fight, use his talent to fight, use his legs to fight, use his mouth to fight, go for evangel. Number one, when you follow Jesus, you must be a fighter. There must be something you are called to fight. Yes. Yes. That's why in every church, if they don't fight, Satan comes to sickness, it comes to disease. You are here to fight. To fight for his name, to fight for his kingdom, to fight for his glory, to fight for the church. That's why whoever selected the song we sang, the hymn, please take your seat so you can take your chair and sit down. It says, Parula Hakata, onward Christian soldier. Yes. What a hymn. I want to sing that last time. Onward Christian soldier. Who are you fighting for? Because in life, you are not allowed to be neutral. Lakers, for basketballers, Lakers fight for. <laughs> Everything is fighting to get the championship. So you know, when you go for time, but any time she stands there, she fights for the cup to return to you. What are you fighting for? Are you just like this? Who did this to you? How did it get you to be like this? Today is a serious day. I ask people, since you became a Christian, what do you, what can you say? What would people know you fought for with your life? With your time? With your life? With all your connections? Why I said you cheated most of your
your friends. You left them. There are those who say, I will, I will stop God before I die. They will be thinking it's king. Yes. He said, yes. I will do the work of the Father. I will be no mocking. Of all that you have learned, with all your degrees, you are going to end up doing this useless work. It's recorded against you because he's the greatest worker. Satan saw Jesus. That's why the number 13 is one of the prophetic numbers. If you look at the number 13, some hotels don't even have lived up to 13th floor. It's a controversial. <laughs> but that number 13 reminds the devil of Jesus and his 12 disciples 13. Satan hates the number 13. Those of you who like to play and play, use 13 and see how you win all the time. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can even shout, Tete! And the devil will start running. Just because we are Tete! What? He said, Those are the people that disrupt my, my kingdom. We are called to fight. As the new district superintendent, Jesus came and told them, Follow me! There's a work to be done to fight for men's souls to be rescued. Number two, our work is the work. Oh, of fellowshipping with the Father. You see, if you don't fellowship, there's no way anything will flourish in your hands. The reason why businesses die in the hands of people is because they don't fellowship with their Father. Ask Adam, how did you become a disgrace? Adam, you were the first man. Adam, hey, Adam, who can have the opportunity to have and glory? Only Arus Kalabaya. The first person I want to see when we get to heaven and slap is Adam. <laughs> a very Pentecostal slap and evangelical grace. In the name of Adam. <laughs> if you hear war in heaven, it's me who's not in <laughs> Because that's the that a man you were given the planet. And you could not, could not fight to keep it. They made you a deacon. What did you do with it? They made you a leader. What did you do with it? Because once oil is poured on you, if you don't do this number two, that is the fight to remain in fellowship with your creator. That's why people who are not in fellowship with their father, nothing goes further in their hands. Those who don't fellowship with their father will never mount up with when they to fly high. The reason I left Zambia is because I love Dr. He. he has been committed to the work of the father. I'm so proud the day he said yes to serve me. You may not know. I may not be here every Sunday, but it's one of the people I pray for since you introduced us. How can you have choices to do any other thing? Tie himself. George, are you blind? Did they bewitch you from a village? Your friends were walking. George, mission. In the which of your mother's house have started. You talk about all that in America, you have nothing else to do but the pastor. But we see the fruits today. Fellowship. Why are things not working? When you disconnect fellowship, nothing works in your hand. Yes. When they force you to pray, and your prayer is because of the devil, you miss. Because prayer is not fellowship. Fellowship is not prayer. Because prayer, people pray for the purpose of demons for doing them, but fellowship is for love. Yeah. I love my daddy. I want to hear his voice. Daddy, what are you saying to me? Everybody is forced to pray. A disease will force to pray. There's a disease that came on the planet called COVID-19. You remember him? <laughs> you know how many people we ate? COVID-18. No, COVID-8. COVID-8. I do big chicken, like talking. He ate the Jesus. America, you know how many people he ate? And people are praying. That's why people are confused. We don't want to pray. No. Prayer is not number one to the Father. In the garden, there was no prayer, there was fellowship. It was men backsliding that brought prayer. And what are people talk prayer to today? Big my needs. And I give me husband. I give me children. I give me children. I give me help. Father, Father, to forget prayer. Father, give me 
the car. Father, the car you brought is no longer going to give me the new one. Father, uh, they pray because of the need. But the Father is not looking for prayer warriors, looking for people who will fellowship with him. Yeah. We don't make ourselves, I will make you to be a fisher. Please politely ask your people, have you ever fished another human being in your life? Have you ever fished another? Yes. No, 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 now, if you're on Facebook and following fools who take picture of their breasts and put it there, picture of their nose and put it there, picture of their hey, there's no, and you're following them, make a comment, write it in the hand, it in it. What a fool! Jesus is looking at you. Because my soul began to talk that from the Bible. Follow, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Who you follow determines what follows you. I can look at you and know who you are following. If nothing is following you, there's a man that busted and said, Show me goodness and mercy. The first man who told the heaven and hell for me, show me. Why? Because he was following the plan of the Father. Then he was the one who fought every battle, the one you may never fight, and never lost any battle. Because as long as you follow the Creator, as long as you follow the Most High, it was David who said, Thou, O Lord, of the sea, around me, you are glory, and lift up my head. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fast for them. I don't have time. I know I'm flying. And every day is their wife. Their wife. But they will come to money and food. They cut a bigger share. Do you know you are supposed to feed your family first of all before you feed any of that person's child? And in America today, we push our children to be fed by the devil's professors. Where they feed us with lies. You learn to feed. There are three things you feed your family and the church of God. What do you feed your children? What do you feed yourself? What do you feed? Number one, you feed them with the truth. They will not get the truth, Daddy. What is the truth? That's why Jesus will also tell you the truth. I tell you, if you don't tell your daughters the truth, if you don't tell your sons the truth, they will go and meet wicked professors who will lie to them. You feed your family. You feed the church with the truth. With the truth, what do you feed? Harika Faladus, Medivor Akiko Sidaya. I'm about to pray. Somebody here. The Lord just spoke to me. From today, you are answering the call to do the work of the Father. Answer him today that you will not play with the word. He said, knowing that whatever you do for him is not useless. It's not useless. If you don't tell your children the truth, if you don't tell them the truth in the church, there's no other place where you can get the truth. Is it all that? No. Where do you think truth are told today? Nowhere. Number two, you feed them with faith. Because if you don't feed your children with faith, they will come up with fear. They will live in fear. What's your name? They are afraid to say. Who are you? They are afraid to say. You feed the church with faith. It's a faith coming by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. That's why you see the church is full of fear today. The reason for the anointing coming upon us today is not just for nothing. It's to take this work to the next level. Number three, you are the one to feed. Harabe, Arakusha Behanda, Mesukumvari Dorosiketeya. And this is the most important. You feed a family with revelation. Revelation. If there is nothing your children can say, it was mommy who gave me this revelation. If not for daddy who opened my eye, it was the church. When I came to the church, I got this revelation because we live by revelation. The school will give you education, but the church will give you revelation. The two are not the same. That's why we have so many people educated for going to hell. Because they never got the revelation of Jesus. They never got the revelation of who the Holy Ghost is. Especially the revelation of where you will spend your future. I tell our church, I do all I do for you because of your future. Because your future is one. I pray and fast to teach you. Do you know the future of your children? Have you ever told them the reason why we must do this is because of your future? Have you been able to show your children there is a future? Because there are people telling you there's nothing like that. Oh, no, 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 there is. There is. There is. Calabasi. Number five, in closing this great morning as we celebrate this great district in the name of Jesus and our new district superintendent in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's read John chapter 17, verse 4. There Jesus told us the number five walk. The number five walk. That's why in First Corinthians 15, 15, let's read. Let's start to read. I'm closing now. I'm closing now. I'm closing. I want us ah sharp work. Fresh unction. Come in on your work. A fresh unction. Maniko souvenir. Men will hear and see. You're going to leave a legacy. The Father is glad with your big to still take more assignment on your head. 